continuing on with our skill building projects that we're going to look at for Autodesk Inventor. This is one of the calculators we currently do within S2. Now some of the skills we're going to develop when doing this task is we're going to learn to obviously extrude, subtract, look at fillets, chamfers, rectangular arrays or Inventor calls them a rectangular patterns. We've got radial arrays or circular patterns, text embosses. Now again, be careful, this terminology of rectangular array and radial array is the one that's actually accepted by SQA. So you have to begin to have of using this terminology. But you may see rectangular pattern or circular pattern referred to through the PowerPoint. So, first task, start a new file, sketch in the XY plane, 125 by 65 long and wide, 10 millimeters thick. Let's jump into Inventor, start a new file as always, standard MMIPT. Start a 2D sketch. Now, if you hover over your planes, it tells you the name of which plane is which. So, in this case, it was an XY plane. We're then going to draw a rectangle and dimension it to be 125 tall by 65 wide. Zoom out. Nope, oh, made it 126. And then finish that sketch and extrude by 10. First part done within the PowerPoint slide. Moving along, we're going to then start looking at doing a rectangular pattern tools. Oh, sorry, a rectangular array. My apologies. So we've then got a rectangle. It is 10 millimeters widthwise, 15 millimeters long, and 5 millimeters from each corner. When we've done that, we're then going to apply a fillet, which is rounding off the corners by two. Sorry, extrude by two millimeters and fillet the corners by one. So we do that back to Inventor, we start a 2D sketch on top of my object. I'm just going to start by drawing my rectangle in the middle here. Now it does make a difference in the middle because we're going to constrain it in a second. So from dimension tool, from the side to the edge of my object is a 5mm gap. For this bottom to the bottom of the calculator is a 5mm gap. The height of my rectangle should be 10 and the width of it should be 15. Finish sketch. We were to extrude this with two and then apply a one millimeter fillet. So extrude by two and then apply a fillet on each edge at the top by one. Now our next step in looking at this is then beginning to apply our knowledge of a rectangular arrays. So for this in slide 5 it's going to take us through the process of understanding how to do an array, applying that along the vertical and horizontal axis and then creating our duplicates. So for a vertical axis we want 4 copies with a 15mm space and in a horizontal axis we want 3 copies with a 20mm space. So as I said, 4 by 15, 3 by 20. So back to Inventor, we're then going to choose to go to a rectangular array tool, choose our feature, which was our second extrusion. Now direction 1, we're going to click as in the middle long edges. If it points in the wrong direction, very easily simply fixed by flipping it. It was 4 copies with a 15mm gap. Direction 2 is a horizontal one, and it was 3 copies with a 20mm gap. Press OK, and we're done. So we've now learned how to do basic extrudes, and we've learned to do a rectangular array on our object, as well as applying a fillet to our buttons. We'll continue more in video 2.